Dear humanity, I don't need to introduce myself. The whole world is talking about me. In lockdown because of me. And in perpetual stress because of me. Unlike most of you, I don't have time to waste. So I'll get straight to the point and share with you something about myself, which your media will not cover. I do not differentiate between the people I visit, young or old, sick or healthy, practicing or otherwise. Don't accuse me of being harsh. I'm just following the orders of the Supreme Lord who controls my every atom, my every movement. I am the one who has interrupted tyrannical regimes from furthering their oppression of their Muslim minorities. I am the one who has humbled the pharaohs of the 21st century and snapped that spine of arrogance in every single one of them. I am the one who closed down the dens of intoxication and gambling and fornication and terrified every devourer of interest. I am the one who bothers the non-believer behind closed doors as he now questions everything he ever stood for. I am the one who struck fear into the heart of every sinner and called him into regret. I am the reminder that oppression and moral decay cannot go without retribution. I am proud of this. I don't apologize for it and shame on the hard hearts of humanity for needing me as their reminder. You are right. I am also the one who closed the doors of the venerated sites, the mosques, where my Lord's praises are sung. This is my only sorrow, but it is the wish of my Lord, and he is the most wise. But perhaps you will now realize the luxuries of praying in congregation and sitting in the companionship of angels that you previously taken for granted. Why did you need me to realize this? Your entire lives have come to a grinding halt because of me, a weak, microscopic, silent creature of Allah. What then if he were to send my brothers upon you? by flipping your countries over like he did with the people of Lut, or rained fire over you as he did with the people of Shu'aib, or instructed the earth to swallow you as he did with Qarun. I didn't cause this. My Lord said you did. So each we seized for his sin, and among them were those upon whom we set a storm of stones, and among them were those who were seized by the blast, and among them were those who we caused the earth to swallow, and among them were those whom we drowned, and Allah would not have wronged them, but it was they who were wronging themselves. Don't fear me, but fear the one who sent me. Don't busy yourselves thinking about how to avoid me, but how to draw closer to the one who sent me. I and the rest of creation are at his mercy, dominated by his power, helpless without his aid. My forelock is in his hands, his wish is my command, and I prostrate to him. Don't allow your heart to obsess over me or anything else. Glorify Allah and think well of him. I know myself better than you do, so I'm going to say it how it is. Many of you will die because of me, but those who pass away upon goodness will meet goodness with Allah and can hope for the station of martyrdom. But those of you who die having neglected Iman, lived without vision, delayed repentance, you will soon come to realize that death was in fact the very least of your problems. I don't know how much longer my Lord wants me around, but one thing is for sure, I may be the calm before the storm. And if that does arrive, what I'm doing to you today will pale in comparison. So I raise my voice out of mercy to you, and I ask one last time, will you repent? Will you live with purpose and goals? Will you promise to follow up every sin with a heartfelt apology? Your temporary visitor, your sincere advisor, the feeble servant of Allah, coronavirus. <laughs>